Hello and welcome to Victory Point Gaming. Today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. We are going to have a look at the high ranked players on Ark Nova on Board Game Arena and see if we find somebody who's a very strong player and take a look at one of their games. See if there's anything to be learned. So let's try and find a game which was quite close. Um, one. Right. Here you have a game between Ho Dinga, 11, who is currently the strongest player on Borgame Marina, and another player, also strong, very high ranking for Elite in this season. This game lasted 50 minutes, and as you can see, they took 29 or 30 turns. And for a two-player game, that is very fast. I think I played a two-player game the other day, which was 39, 40 turns each. So this is exceptionally efficient play. Very fast, very efficient. Um, they were playing on ice cream parlors, which helps. I'm going to take a look at this replay um, from the point of view of Dinga. All right, so... We can have a little look at their, what cards they have, um, how everything's laid out here, and see, you know, consider what we might have done in this situation and what we can learn from how they play. So, the options here are Natural Sioux or Climbing Park. Now, this is actually quite a good one for Climbing Park, I would say, because the rocks are very central and pretty much you can build all the way here, all the way around here, around here, around here. Basically, almost everything on the map touches a rock. So, assuming you can find the cards for it, it's potentially good. They start with two cards with rocks on. The other one, don't build out the zoo. It's kind of awkward. Um, especially if you get sponsors where you are benefiting from placing things like such as this one. Now I expect that the side entrance is going to be very instrumental in what they're doing here. It's one of the best cards I think to have in your starting hand. I would expect that they will either start with the side entrance here, well obviously you never start with the side entrance but you see my point. Um, I think they will kind of play in this area and then pop the side entrance over here for quick access to all of the kiosks, or they'll start here and side entrance somewhere else. That's my opinion. I think um, when you're looking at this, you're looking for a quick conservation, and this is going to be absolutely critical. Continent diversity, three or five. That's a pretty big difference there between two conservation fights and five. This, in my opinion, should be the central battleground for this game. Um, realistically speaking, nobody wants to take this low one, so everyone's fighting for this, which means this is the only viable early conservation project, assuming you don't draw one. So, this is absolutely central, in my opinion, to what's going to be happening in this game. I haven't watched this game ahead, I don't know what's going to happen. This is just my initial evaluation. Um, I think that this player should take, um, I mean, <laughs> the absolute, absolute uh, goal of my opinion here. They are the best ranked player on board game arena and I'm just a player who can't even, doesn't even play arena. But um, in my opinion, side entrance is good. Um, I would consider taking this um, card here because it is a, well, if nothing else, it matches against this, it matches against this, and sure, it gives an icon for this, it matches against all three. How often do you see that? Um, it also has rocks, and I think Climbing Park is the most viable one. Um, so I think this one, I think this one, 
probably another little creature here. Also happens to have Africa. And I guess maybe another cheap sponsorship or a petting zoo animal, perhaps. However, I don't even know if they will take this because what I've noticed in very in the play of very strong players on Board Game Arena is that they don't tend to like to take an association early. It's far more likely that they are going to take universities. I think we're going to, we will probably see both players take university for the first two picks, but we'll see. I could be wrong. All right. Well, that's respectable as well. They've gone for side entrance, petting zoo, petting zoo, and then this creature. So I think that's also perfectly acceptable, and in fact, probably, probably better. Yeah, actually, having two petting zoo animals is absolutely great. So, got some stuff here. Haven't looked at this yet. Let's have to see what blue does. They're going to snap something or draw. They draw. It's a bold move because I have a feeling that um, white is just going to take the university hand size here and then say, okay, now what? No, interesting. So they do take Africa, which makes sense for this. Absolutely makes sense. I think they are eyeing this up for an early association and it just makes so much sense. Um, getting to Protoss 2 is going to be big as well. So, And sometimes the synergies just fall together and you can do really well on Protoss anyway. So, um, All right, so their plan is to get this out um, and they're working with Enhanced Size 3 this round. So. How would I start if I was them? What would I do? It's going to have to be next to rock. It's almost certainly going to have to cover this. I would say I expect to see this being covered in with a size 3 or a petting zoo. Either is fine. Probably want to prioritize this. Petting zoo animals don't really accomplish anything. But you want to do them at some point when you've got nothing better to do. Get this one down, probably covering this, and then a side entrance there. That's my prediction, but it could be wrong. Alright, so please building. And apparently got a free kiosk. Okay. And yes, of course. You can have a free kiosk by going up here. I have never considered that possibility, so that's a new one to me. They make the play to be closer to the reputation bonus, which is makes a lot of sense. And that's quite a nice kiosk placement, actually. And bearing in mind, they always have the possibility of side interesting over here if they want to. Wow. Well. Alright, so blue takes hand size. With their six cards in the hand, they don't feel so threatened as they were. Okay, so animals. No surprises here. They will be doing Hunter, so they might find another Predator or something. That would be good. Alright, so they can keep one animal. Um, yeah, there's no real synergy here. I guess the best would probably be either the Tapir or the Wall Lizard. This if you're going more for rocks, this if you're going more for reputation, they both provide a new continent icon. Um, I would say probably you 
this. One of these two, not the crocodile. They go for the rocks, okay, reasonable. Yeah, you have to, can't turn them down when you find them, like the rocks. You need them. So that does make sense. Ludus and building. I'm not really paying that much attention to what Blue's doing. If this was a if this were a real game, I would be looking at a little bit of what they're doing probably. But in this case, I'm more trying to focus on what uh, White is playing here. So in this situation, um, Swans is at the top. I imagine if we're going to see another build from from them anytime soon. This would be my prediction for a petting zoo place. I would imagine it wants to be next to this kiosk if you're going to build a petting zoo. Um, it does block some rocks, but that's fine. But um, do you conveniently place a petting zoo? I guess here would be the other option, or here. But it's uh, like you, this is just awkward. You can't do that. Um, but yeah, building's not happening yet. They might be waiting on sponsors to end the round. Some strong players do like to keep sponsors at five for that. I would expect to see side entrance here, um, maybe. They've got to be wary of hand size. So, the issue they have is even if they build a petting zoo, animals is going to be a lot, have to be a lot higher in order to actually get some benefit from it. I think probably, even though it's not like making the most of the side entrance, having it here would be fine because you're going to get a whole bunch of income, especially if you put another kiosk here. Oh, the cash, the money you'll get would be great. Um, the other option. I would probably go for here, if you really want a card. Here, if you don't. Um, here is also possible. A bit further away from all of that. Okay, so... Oh, it won't be for cash here. It's going to be one of the placements for the side entrance. Moment of truth. Where is the best place to put it? Um, is there any cards we want to draw, first of all? Um, I don't think they would care enough about medical breakthrough right now. As you've seen in these high elo games, you maybe get four breaks in the whole game. So, considering the fact that it's going to be one or two breaks before anyone even gets those um, microscopes, it's not worth it. So, I don't think they'll want to use this placement bonus un until they have to, so um, this is just a, now that I think about it, it's a terrible place for the side entrance. Down here, it's not out of the question. It could allow for an easy take of this reputation bonus lane, so um, I would probably do it here. Claim the hats and also uh, set up for another kiosk or just general good money. This is um, understandable here. Here and here is fine. What are they going to go for? They go for here and here. Okay, cool. Don't want the placement bonus. So they're taking advantage of the side entrance. They can fit one, two, three, four things next to that. That's very nice. Uh, 
Um, so associating is an association. Sponsor for money. Okay. Interesting. Sponsor for money. Must really need it, I guess. So, cards is at the top here. Is white going to snap something? It would mean losing a um, card at the end of the round. They could potentially build. Um, what I don't mind here is build here and then place a kiosk next to the, uh, next to this thing. That's quite nice. Something like pavilion here and then, um, a kiosk touching both the pavilion and the, um, doodad would be quite nice. Okay, kind of. They went for the cash money, though. All right. The opponent plays a creature. So, because this player is actually black, this player, because black has five money now, they could potentially do some more building. Oh no, they choose to cards at this point. Okay. So, I suppose this is good. If you take this, you can support it, and you know that blue's not going to be able to do anything with that for ages. And it does keep the option open of supporting predators at a higher level. All right, so Black already has the income advantage thanks to the side entrance. Blue does cards action. And black. Probably quite happy to have the X token that they just took. So now, um, I guess Association 5 makes sense here. Get a new Association worker, probably upgrade a card. Upgrading animals would make sense. Or maybe build is also good. Yeah, build. Build is normally the first thing, yeah. Because you get so much more value from level 2 build than level 1. All right. 
upgrades. Bla um, blue also upgrades build. Okay. So, at this point, there's some considerations for, for black. Consideration number one is that, sure, uh, if you were to build a petting zoo now, you would be able to place both of these animals with the animal section at five. Another consideration is sponsors is at four and you don't have a sponsor card to play. That's another consideration. Um, another consideration is you want to get this covered up ASAP in order that you can get the benefit. So considering that you have an X token, 14 uh, money needed for this, you can spend eight, eight potentially, which is fine. 14 plus eight is 22. So what they might do here is build for four, place something here or a petting zoo here and then go here. Basically, cover up this little lot like that, more or less, as one build action, and then play the two petting zoo creatures, and then worry about sponsors later. That's my prediction. Alright, they played the petting zoo there. They played the kiosk there. Oh, and then they get the kiosk there. I was a little bit, I was surprised. I saw the kiosk come down there. I was like, what? Okay, sure. So they get the the kiosk here. Right, so this is what I said. The kiosk next to the, um, both the side entrance and the pavilion. But they were thinking probably that they needed money for the next round in order to do all this. So they actually claimed this knowing that they could go here, do this, and do this. So their income right now is 29. How? That's huge, dude. 29 income. They haven't even played these two animals yet. That is massive. So, this gives them the ability to draw something. Um, I think that this is not ideal. It is an Asia icon, but it's a bit tricky. Probably one from the top. Oh no, they take native lizards. What does this do? Isolated rock spaces. One appeal for every connected rock space. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> that makes sense. Helps if you read the card, doesn't it? Um, they can probably connect all of the rock spaces before, well, they can connect a lot of rock spaces before they get there. So, they were thinking about the, um, sponsor card that I was talking about being all the way up here. That's very smart, very smart indeed. So, Blue go ahead and does some building. Black has no X token, so it's going to have to be the two petting zoo animals. That gives nine more tickets, so we're still within the threshold to play near to blizzards. This is a lot of tickets. Okay. Blue's catching up a bit on income but they're still far behind sponsor okay that's uh, unexpected i was expecting the sponsor card to come straight out but instead yes of course black is keeping an eye on this track 
We are close to a break and they do not want to lose their workers. So they've keep, been keeping an eye on that. They decided that they are going to grab an association worker while they can, which will give them an upgrade. And they are going to take one of these. Now, it's surely going to be one that they don't have already. The Africa creatures will turn up eventually. Question is, what are they going to take from here? They are behind in the race on these continents, and I'm sure they want to level that up, so... I guess... I don't know what I would take there in that situation. Is it actually going to be for hats, do you think? How urgently do they need to up upgrade something else? Not super urgently. Unless they're thinking about the cards action. It's generally speaking better to take um, a three or a four if you can rather than a two because that's going to slow down uh, um, the progress in getting these upgrades here if you don't take threes and fours when you have the opportunity. I would imagine they are going to take a partner suit but I could be wrong. It's hard to know. Yeah, I mean, surely they have to keep up with this progress here. They do. And they go for Asia. Okay. And they upgrade. Probably cards, I would say. Possibly animals. Yeah, there's cards. Because cards is coming to the top. They have quite an empty hand, so cards action would be nice. Blue and uh, yeah, blue ends the round. Top. Right. Black got their last worker used just in time. And a very nice income as well. So, those are sponsors action here, and they go for cards first. I suppose here, the, the rationale is that if you use the sponsors action, it's going to come back again soon, and if you don't have any plans for it, it can be frustrating to have a, an awkward card coming up back at a bad time. They might be thinking, I'm going to cards again. Um, often, so I might as well get cards to the bottom first. So, or they might also be thinking, maybe I can draw a better sponsor than this. Maybe they don't love this one, and they're seeing if they can draw a better one before they use their sponsor's action. Um, so here, this is not bad, actually. For Africa 5. Um, we don't like that. That's probably gonna go. No. Okay, they don't like the sponsor card. Sure. Blue does some building. And they upgrade a card. And they go for animals. Very reasonable indeed. So here. I guess the sponsor card is happening. No, we're building. Right. Get a reputation bonus. And... They're taking a placement bonus. So, there is perhaps something which is interesting over here. Sure, this is going to enable this monkey. Ah, oh, maybe they also like the reputation bonus. That might be it.
Sure. Seems fine. Blues takes advantage of the upgraded animals action and plays. Sure. Do some digging through the trash. Which is quite fun. I like digging in the trash. And the European badger. Wow, Blue has made some fast progress there. They are now on four continents. We're finally going to see native lizards appear. And Blue is associating and release. They release an Asian creature. They must have really needed to progress on here because that set them back a bit on continents. But it gets them on the go and they get to the five bonus first. Red cards, take three X tokens. Ding. All right, so we have all of these creatures. None of them can actually be played yet. Um, these ones require big builds. Like, they are cool and all, but they are very... I don't know, we don't have the enclosures or anything. I don't know where, where we're thinking of building these enclosures. It's all a bit long-term. I'm not sure what the plan is for for here. Um, so this one is, is going to have to be for a university here. I would expect either of these is fine because you're going to get an upgrade here. Okay, upgrade I suppose will be might be association or animals. Association, sure. Blue is drawing from the top. Now the question is, what is going to happen with animals three? Uh, sorry, animals five here. How are you going to do anything with that action? That is the question. There might be a build and uh, getting rid of it. We'll see. Carding. Interesting. Specifically looking for size two? <laughs> I don't know. Or uh, what's happening? Okay, they draw from the top. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? They found a European which fits in a size 2, is even next to two rocks. The zoo score comes down. And Blue is pushing on that track. Drawing a lot from the top. Pretty close to getting this bonus here. All right. So, Black is playing animals. They're trying to move this out of the way. They play their dinger, not the dinger. That vex get some cash. Animals action is gone. So, what's Blue gonna do now? They use the X token, uni. Um, what? I'm confused.
This, I thought they took a uni, but then it looked like uh, an Australia went away. All right. So an association here. Makes sense, because we're 8 out of 9. They haven't used this worker. So... It could be yet another one of these. But there's no bonus at the top here. So, I guess pushing this track is going to make more sense. Oh no, no, okay. They decided to take another one of these, which frees a worker. Which does mean... That when they get this last worker, they are going to get the two points. Okay, fair enough. And they donate naturally. Very nice. Yeah, that does make sense. They might be able to push here. Um, again, if they had two more actions. Animals. Okay. Animals for five. Okay, they've got up a bit on income now. So, what would be the right thing to do here? So many large animals. Still not able to play the um, zebra. Are we lacking the enclosure for the ape? And cannot play the lion. I wonder if the expert in large animals is going to be safe for the end and just play for tickets. It's not worth anything right now. Is it going to be worth it for the discounts, I wonder? I feel like a size 4 enclosure has to appear at some point. It's going down. It's going down for the discounts, okay? So. Black can associate for two if blue doesn't end the round here. How important is that? I guess it's six tickets. Then she's to dig. So four does come down. They get an next token. Size one. And they get rid of the cards card. Nice. This round is going on longer than expected, I must say. Association is all, all the way up four. Amazingly, this means that theoretically. Dinga could associate for five here. They get rid of sponsors for an X. And blue finally triggers the break. So, one thing that's interesting there that they didn't do, which I might have done in that situation is use this worker, be so fearful of losing that worker that I, I use it and push this up here. But they actually value more getting association high and having it ready for next round. And that is the downside. Um, if you use all your association workers, like you say, I don't want to lose this guy, you use them. And then associations all the way back up is a one. Um, sometimes it's better to just let the card ride up. So that's uh, something that I might learn here. Okay, so 
Dinka's in the position where they need to get this Australia icon and they need, they need it fast, really. They don't have one in hand. They don't see one visible. They can see that there's a Asia icon that the opponent could potentially play straight from the row. So, yeah, blue could play this and then they can associate and they'll be done. What now? They choose the animals. Are they going to... What are they going to do? They play the monkey from hand. Why couldn't they play this? They weren't too concerned. They didn't really want to play that. I'm not sure why it was greyed out. All right. They already had the Asia creature anyway. It didn't make a difference. So they're positioned now to associate continents five, and I don't know that black can stop that. Associating eight. Ah, oh. they're doing it that way. Ah. Oh. They've been dated. Association for eight. Sneaky. That explains the action at the end of the last round where they sponsored, took an X token. They were planning to take the university and then support Habitat 5. Brutal that. Brutal. I love it. Are going to take hats here? Oh no! Pressed the wrong thing. I thought I could go back on it. Well. Can I get back to where I was? Let's see if I can find it. Uh, it's supposed to be 20. I guess we're going to have to find it this way. Uh, move 80. Oops. It's more moves here than I thought. All right, yeah, we're about there. So this is when got this. We got the size four. Note to self: do not press that button. Didn't do anything? Hello. Hello. 
Hello. Kind of at the end of the round. Anything again? I need to do it like this. Uh, hello. There, anyway. All right, so we're back. Apologies for that. So this is where Blue was going. Oh my gosh, I've got all my creatures. So ready to take habitat diversity. And then Black's like, nope. And that's the advantage of our upgrading association. Firstly, that you can associate for eight or whatever, but also that you can just keep on taking these things. Very nice. Cash. They take the hats, right. That's very good. So here, I guess, Bami Park is what they're after. Yeah, you keep the climbing park. And they decide to take size twos. Okay. I can relate to that because I love a size two map bonus myself. Thinking ahead for this one. They associate. Take Predators 4, okay. Clearly better than taking Continents 2. And yeah, it looks like Black's winning the race for Africa as well. Right. Looking for African creatures. So this could be nice when, in a critical moment, if blues are head on tickets. Actually, does this is tickets and or um, conservation points. So. Yeah, they're really just digging for African icons at this point. Building some building. Whoa. That's a big thing. This is what I like to call potential elephant preparation. They might be planning to do this, but how good is that really? They already have the last worker. Probably not going to do that. They're probably... Um, Yeah, probably planning to go elephant hunting. Playing a sponsor card. Oh, third. Wait. Player. That's why I'm not a bit confused. Here. Associate for four. Animals this. And they're just going to draw something from the top, I, I would reckon. That's not bad for Africa. Get animals. And do a donation. They don't do that. Interesting. Interesting that they, they don't donate. 
It must have a plan. Play these two. Donated though. They have the spaces set up for those. I guess they realized that putting lots of little size ones was going to be beneficial eventually. Blue finally upgrades association. Some animals. That's a lot of tickets. And that one. Very nice. I wouldn't be surprised to see pouching coming out here. Africa 5 plus pouching. That's what I would be. Okay, and here. Black has got cars at the top. I expect to see a full draw four. Looking for elephants. We do not find an elephant, but we do find this little naughty monkey. Not worth putting in a size five at all. Unfortunately, Black has got no more association workers to do Africa this round. The literal only thing they can do is go here. Probably worthwhile because it's actually going to give them access to the topmost card. Okay, break happens. Depending on what that card is. Maybe they want to save that, actually. They probably want to save it for if a card's here. They can take the last... Um, take two hats and immediately snap it sort of thing. Oops. Why am I clicking that? Force of habit. See this? The play was a special. And the plan to play small things. Interesting. So... Yeah, that's that's interesting. They decide that they're never going to play big animals again, so... They have abandoned the elephant plan, if that was ever a plan. They decide they want to close this game out by getting extra tickets per small animal. To be fair, we are close to the end. Go. Some pilfering, or well, maybe they can't, but some good stuff. More tickets, more tickets, more tickets, more tickets. <laughs> nice. And yeah, they li literally just put a size two in a five enclosure. Nothing else you can do is there. I don't think there's any like OP size 3 creatures in this game that I can recall. If the bald eagle or elephant comes out now, it's going to be a bit awkward. They now are positioned to do Africa 5, which is the main thing. And Africa 5 should end the game, actually, which is probably what they're going to do. Donate. They pouch, right. Yeah, that's what they said, isn't it? Pouch two of the cards. Four more tickets. Do a donation. Game over. And yeah, from 70 points, it's challenging. Don't know if they have a... They don't have anything good to support here. No. The best they can do is simply... Project. Also do some pouching. 
I've seen games where strong players will take pouch like in first or second break and literally be pouching the whole game. It's nutty. So super close game. Um, I felt like they had the advantage most of the game. Blue got some income at the end, but yeah, quite quite interesting, I would say. I like the fact that they decided that they were going to go was small and push really fast to the end game with some small creatures, even though they'd already committed to the size five enclosure. Like, it seemed like a lot of people in that situation, myself included, would have sunk cost fallacy into thinking, well, no, I'll build a size 5, I'm not going to put a size 2 in it. But no, they were just like, I'm just going to pivot hard here. I know I've got experts in large animals and everything, I'm just going to play this, play some small creatures, end the game, fast as possible. And I think, uh, if they hadn't have done that, it could have been a different outcome. That was um, an interesting moment for me. Um, obviously, that was a, there was that brutal moment when they took Australia handshake and claimed the diversity, uh, habitat diversity at the same time. That was brutal. Um, yeah, yeah, interesting, interesting. I think having the side entrance is very strong. Having side entrance in your opening hand improves it a lot, I think. It's one of the best cards to see in your opening hand. It might be the best card to see. That might be a bit of a strong statement. Um, but, uh, yeah. I would certainly never discard it under almost any circumstances. But, uh, yeah. That was quite an interesting experiment. I might do that again. I feel like... What could... What did we learn from that game? We learned that... Association... Can pull out some neat tricks. It's not a card that I tend to upgrade. And if I ever upgraded... It would be my fourth upgraded card. We saw that strong player upgraded build first, which is something I would tend to do. I would tend to upgrade build first. They're not afraid to change plan um, during the game. And yeah, I mean. What else is there to say? They focused on speeding up, taking advantage of the map bonus. They did not take money here because in the end they didn't really need it. They had the income from these kiosks, from the map bonuses. Um, when I was first playing a lot on Board Game Arena, I was thinking I'm going to take this here and I'll take the association worker, uh, association worker over here and take this money here. but. If you play your kiosks really well, you don't really need to do this usually. If you have abysmal um, start and you can't actually, um, you can't actually get a early upgrade, and you're behind, um, you're not able to upgrade builds. You can't get any kiosks. You can't get any. You know, it's just not working for you. Still might be good to take this and uh, worker, um, because what I realised in this game is that your early bottlenecks are um, having. You'd like the second worker so that association doesn't become a, a bad action, and you'd like enough money to do the things you want to do so that animals and builds don't become dead actions. So this is something that uh, I like, but. The higher level you play at, the worse it gets, because this game, for example, there was four breaks, I think. So that's 25 money, which is good. Obviously, it's good. But 
fewer breaks you get during the course of a game, the worse it is. If you're playing a game with lots of lots of breaks and it takes a long time and it's not with very strong players, it's going to be a, a lot more deadly and this card's going to be but fine. Um, but yeah, that was very interesting. I like that game. And I might do that again at some point. Um, the power of petting two animals. Uh, definitely. Definitely. Very nice. Alright, we'll end the video there. Thanks for watching. Um, let me know if you'd be interested in seeing more co um, commentated um, games like this. I think I, I enjoyed it myself and I might do it again uh, in any case. But uh, let me know your opinions and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.